Quickie review, Clone Hero. Ready, set, go. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would understandably think that RPGs are probably my favorite type of video game. And while I do like those quite a bit, I'm actually a bigger fan of music rhythm games. Specifically the kind with plinky plunky plastic instruments, like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. So naturally, I have of course played a crap ton of the freely released PC clone, the aptly named Clone Hero. You would already know this if you watched me over on Twitch, where I stream this game all the time. Just look at that loser right there, and his stupid, stupid face. Also heads up, throughout this video I'm going to be showing some footage of the game without audio because I don't need a half a million copyright strikes all flying at me at once. So if you want to play a little game with me, see if you can guess any of the songs just by looking at the chart, then post them down in the comments. For each correct answer, I will award you five internet points. This game takes the basic gameplay of the Guitar Hero series, where you try to hit multicolored notes in time with the music, and doesn't really mess with it in any way. In fact, it actually prides itself on trying to accurately recreate it, even going so far as to include some of the features from the later games in the franchise, like open notes, tap sections, and those overlapping hold note section thingies. I always forget what those are properly called. And while it might not include the vocal sections of games like Rock Band, it does include on-screen lyrics if the songs have those implemented. So if you're able to disconnect your eyeballs from the highway for long enough, you can even sing along. Or maybe if you have an audience or something. Either or. The main draw of Clone Hero though, outside of the always fun and addicting game gameplay is the community that has sprung up around it. Not only are there some amazing streamers and personalities, such as Jason Paradise, Yukog Monkey, and Asai, but there are some truly talented charters out there creating some amazing custom tracks. Well, sure, you could just download all of the officially released tracks from pretty much every single Guitar Hero and Rock Band game out there, including the often forgotten Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s, but that would cause you to miss out on some pretty amazing stuff. Basically, if you like a specific artist, there's probably at least one or two tracks that someone somewhere has charted. And it's really worth digging into. It's even worth downloading tracks from artists that you've never heard of. I do it all the time. Custom Song Central throws together monthly packs of artists that I've never heard of, but I download every single one. All in all, you really have no reason to not get out there and check out Clone Hero. It's free and pretty much every single plastic guitar ever made is compatible with it. If you are at all like me, you probably have at least one or two or possibly even ten of those things laying around, so you shouldn't have any issue getting started. And word on the street is that they're working on adding in support for drum tracks as well. Maybe eventually this will replace my old tattered copy of Rock Band 3. Probably not, but you know, maybe. With all that being said, I give Clone Hero a 5 out of 5. Have you played Clone Hero? What do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell thingy? Also, like I mentioned, check me out on Twitch. I stream quite often. Thanks for watching and have a good one.